Hello, my name is Larry Reed. I'm out here in Texas, and I'm a singer, songwriter, musician, full-time performer, and a recording engineer and electronics. Music. I'm going to go ahead, and today I'm going to explain some of the cool things that this thing can do. One of the best things it can do is that you can use this basically as your whole mixer all in one for your vocals and for your guitar, and all the effects are built into the actual machine. Today we're using the Mid-J Pro, but this also is inside the Mid-J. It's also inside the SD40 and the SD90 and a lot of the other machines as well. But in this case, we're going to use this one. Now, if you notice, I've got the guitar plugged in right here. I've got it plugged straight in the back of the machine. And you can see it's pretty boring right now because it's just, it's just your basic guitar. Nothing special, but we can fix this. You go over here to the button. It says Microphone 2. And you push this button and you hold it down. And what happens is it opens up this screen right here. And now you see it says Guitar. The guitar is on. If I turn it off, you can see it just completely kills the guitar. But if I turn it back on, then we can go ahead and adjust the volume. And then here's the best part. So we're going to go into another area right now. Edit. Now, if you notice, there's a whole mess of stomp boxes basically in here. And all these bit boxes can be adjusted for the preference of your guitar. So, for the fun of it, Let's turn on some chords. Oh, all of a sudden it's starting to sound a lot more interesting, isn't it? It also has a distortion. I don't use distortion, but it is built into the machine. You have a delay system in here. You can have different delays. All you gotta do is touch the machine. It turns it on. I also like to do is like to use a amplifier simulator. You turn that back on. You can come in here and you can tell it whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to use a clean. There's also metal, acoustic, combo. All these are available. Plus, you've got filters, you've got a compressor, and you've got an equalizer. same thing. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, but you can also mess with the... So for the fun of it, we'll just leave it on stack. And then all we got to do to back out is hit the exit button. Exit. And then basically you have everything you need. The other thing you can do is you can add reverb. You can also do it at the screen, but it's easier just to use the knob. You just touch it. See, it sounds pretty good right now. So now we've got our guitar sounding good. We do the same thing with the microphone. You turn this off, you go over here to microphone one, and you've got the same things. You can control your voice. You can add more, more or less reverb. Now I'm on talk. If you take it off talk, you can actually hear the reverb that I've got selected. But you can, can, change, you can change the kind of reverbs. And you can change the, the, how much of it you wish. And it's all edi edible. Right now, I'm just on the standard reverb. Now we're going to get into a whole other section. See this section called Voicetron right here? Basically, what the Voicetron is is a harmonizer. But it doesn't harmonize in the way you think. It harmonizes by the fact that you record the actual notes that would be the harmony part behind the song that you're doing and you put it on whatever track you want. In most cases, you'll find it laying on track four or five. And then what you do is you assign that particular channel to this. You can also use instruments to control it, any kind of instrument. It doesn't make any difference, a pan, flute, a piano, whatever. You'll see a lot of times you'll see one in some of the ones you'll buy. If you see them, you'll see a thing that will say pan, flute, and it has no other point. You put it on, and it's like, what is that? It's very soft. It's in the distance. doesn't sound like anything. Those are the actual harmonies and the notes, actually, for the harmonies. You won't come on until you get to this part. So then, we back back out of here again. We pick a song, like the Dream Believer, and you go into the general winning part, and you can see I've got track five. 
I've got track five assigned to the Voicetron right now. That happens to be the one. This is a, a bought one. So that these are on, and then you can control the amount of the the amount, of course, again, of how much of the backup vocals you want behind it. But you'll see how well this works. What's nice about it is it's never out of time with you like a recording would be because it'll do whatever you do. In other words, if you sing the wrong words, it's going to give you the wrong words and it's perfect harmony as well. So it's there. Plus, it also turns itself on and turns itself off as the song progresses. In other words, if you have a spot where you don't want harmonies, it's not there because you didn't put harmonies there behind it. You can also make it double by using the same note as what you're singing. So you can have a doubler, you can have harmonies, and you can have up to three harmonies behind you with this machine. That's quite a bit. So knowing that, we're going to exit this again. Come out of pause. Bluebird as she sings The six o'clock garland Never ring Six rings And I rise I first sleep out of my house The shade is cold And I sleep You notice there's lyrics on the screen. Some of the songs contain lyrics, some of them don't. If you want to learn the song, it's a great feature because you can turn the lyrics on or you can turn the lyrics off. That's providing that the mid, the mid file has those lyrics in it. A lot of songs do not. That's okay either way. But it's just nice to know they're there. So let's continue the song. So I can to show you exactly how this harmony really comes in. Sure, the DJ. There's the harmonies. Oh, what can I mean? Here's the interesting thing. I'm going to sing different words so that you know it's not a recording like a karaoke track. The machine does the harmonies. It doesn't care what you sing. It's gonna create a harmony based on the notes. Pretty cool, huh? So the beauty of this is that you can have, basically, I'm going to put it back on talk. This is so you want to talk to the audience, just hit this button. The beauty of this is that you can have harmonies that cut themselves in and out where the harmonies are supposed to be with the actual correct harmony behind it. So you can have those other voices doing the exact correct harmony, not just a generated one from an algorithm. This is controlled, again, by a track that you will put on the MIDI whether you do it through a keyboard or through, through the guitar, or you can actually buy some of these tracks that already have them there. Or you can sometimes get away with using one of the tracks to help create the MIDI, because sometimes there's a part in there that sounds like it, and all you have to do is assign it to the Voicetron, and it takes over. Now, you can only assign one track to the Voicetron at a time. In other words, you cannot assign multiple tracks. It only can be one. But once it's there, you assign it, you save it, and you're ready to go. So I hope that opened up a few ideas for you guys out there in Ketron land who are thinking about maybe getting one of these. Again, this is probably one of the best machines on the entire planet, if not the best, to do these kind of gigs with, where you can be an entire band all by yourself with your guitar, with harmonies, with effects, and you don't even need a mixer anymore because it's all passing through the machine. Thank you for your time.